getting prepared shouldn't make anyone scared. But I didn't want people to be in a frenzy or in a panic mode like right now at this moment. Dr. Prathik Kulkarni is an infectious disease expert at Baylor College of Medicine in Houston and says tests are already underway to learn more about the new Omicron variant of COVID-19. We're going to learn a lot more in the coming days and weeks about this particular variant. The biggest unanswered questions, does it spread easier than Delta or cause more severe illness? And does it evade vaccines? But what, what you can do is you can delay it enough to get us better prepared. White House medical advisor Dr. Anthony Fauci said Sunday it's probably already in the U.S. and mutations likely make it more transmissible. But severe illness and vaccine effectiveness are tough to gauge in South Africa, where just 25 percent of the population is vaccinated. I don't think there's any possibility that this could completely evade any protection by a vaccine. And Texas COVID hospitalizations have been flat for two weeks, but cold weather states are seeing increases, a sign that the same could happen here. Fundamental principles that everybody was doing yesterday, we should still be doing those same things today. No matter what we learn about Omicron, the best tools to stop it will be tests and vaccines, which are both still free and still effective. You use this time to really, really put your pedal to the floor and get people vaccinated and get people boosted. Cole Carney says at this point, any holiday travel plans are still as safe or risky as they were yesterday. If we get some new information in the, in the coming weeks, you may have to make an uh, adjustment. Don't panic. Just use the tools we already have to stay safe. In Fort Worth, I'm William Joy.